Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and today's video is about BOSS Linux. BOSS stands for Bharat Operating System Solutions. And as the name suggests, it's an operating system developed by the Indian government as part of Digital India Initiative, giving home users access to a free operating system that supports local Indian languages so that Indian citizens, especially those who reside in villages and are not well versed with English language, can also take the advantage of digital revolution and are not left behind. It's an operating system that I have personally used long time back, even helped few offices to get the system installed on their computers. And I wanted to do a review video of it a uh, long time back, but uh, somehow it didn't work out as planned. And also uh, during that time, the OS felt very outdated to me. But now I have installed the latest version 6.2 Anoop and have been working on it for a few days. So let me give you my view on BOSS Linux, also known as the National Operating System of India. So as always, let's begin with the history first. BOSS Linux project started in 2006 with version 1.0 Tarag. So it's been there for over 12 years and had 6 major releases. However, version 5.0 Anoka was when I first got to use it. BOSS Linux also comes in 3 other variants. Edu BOSS, an educational based operating system for Indian schools. A server based edition and a Mool edition which is there for redesigning the Linux kernel. The current release is version 6.0 Anoop, which was released in August 2015. There have been two point releases since then and the current release is version 6.2. Now the operating system is actually developed by CDAC Chennai which is an Indian government department that look after advanced computing development for the government. The operating system is based on Debian and the latest release run Linux kernel 3.16 with GNOME 3.14 as its desktop environment. Now let's get to the distribution. The installation process is exactly the same as that of Debian installation. In fact, it uses the same Debian installer and all the installation options are same. Now this is the default desktop which is GNOME 3.14. There's not many changes here. However, if you want to change the look of the desktop, GNOME Tweak tool comes pre-installed and you can use that. I have made a detailed video on how to tweak GNOME desktop a while back. You can check that video by clicking on the top right corner. I'll also post the link of that video in the description below. Now you get a decent list of default apps that are pre-installed. You get Firefox pre-installed, VLC Media Player, LibreOffice Suite also comes pre-installed and also other popular Debian apps like Totem Movie Player, Photos app to view images, Empathy Chat Client all comes pre-installed. So the default apps are sufficient to give you a smooth out of the box experience. One special feature that the desktop has is the ability to quickly change the input language to your choice by pressing a key combination which is shift control and space this will display a bar with all the installed languages you can toggle through them by pressing the arrow keys and change the input language since it's based on Debian boss also uses apt package manager to install delete or update new packages you can run package updater app to check for new updates available and install them on your system for me when i first installed the system and ran this software it did not give me any updates instead give a message that the system is up to date even though it was not and that happened because i did not refresh my apt index if you also find yourself in that situation you can either use terminal and run the command sudo apt dash get space update or run synaptic package manager which is the front end of apt and first click on reload this will refresh the index and then you can restart package updater now you'll get all the updates now there are over 43,000 packages available in boss repository which is quite a decent amount of packages for a distribution that is made for one particular country to install a new package or software you can search for the package here let's say i want to install tilde terminal so search for tilde and then right click on it and choose 
mark for installation and then go to the top and click on apply this will install tilde on the system similarly you can also remove or update install packages from here also this was all about boss linux now let's quickly talk about the pros and cons of this linux distribution starting with the pros first it's a free operating system for indian masses so for people who cannot afford to buy expensive windows operating system can use it second it supports 19 local indian languages which is really helpful for people who are not well versed with english language third it is secure than windows os which is also the primary reason for its development to use it in government offices and key departments to safeguard the information from any cyber attacks. Fourth, the installation is extremely simple. You also get a setup.exe file in the CD to start the installation process from the Windows operating system itself. And fifth, there are a large number of softwares available in its repository. All right, now let's talk about the cons of the distribution. Uh, first, the updates are extremely slow. Updated software packages takes a very long time to reach the repos. For example, the latest Chromium version 65 is available in Arc repo, but the repo of Boss Linux contains version 57, which was released in the month of March 2017. Second, due to the delay in updates, the operating system is not so secure. It may be secure than Windows OS, but a system running outdated softwares cannot be considered as secure as many vulnerabilities gets discovered in a year which is why you get frequent updates of softwares third and probably the biggest one is that there's no forum or blog where you can look for help or find solution to your queries there is a forum url which is forum.bosslinux.in but it points to the home page of boss linux there's a helpline number also listed in the website but that number also doesn't work which is kind of lame. CDAG definitely needs to do something about it if they're serious with this operating system. All right, so that was all about Boss Linux. Now with thousands of attacks happening on computers every day, running Windows operating system on computers in key government offices, departments is not considered very secure. And due to this reason, many government around the world have developed their own Linux based operating system to be used in government offices so that security of information is not compromised. Few examples of such operating systems are Kylin OS, which is developed by Chinese government, Pardos Linux, developed by Turkish government, and even North Korea has its own Linux based operating system called Red Star Linux, of which very little is known about. So it's good to know that India has also joined the list, but there's many issues that needs to be addressed, especially the updates that are really, really slow. I think they need to work on it for it to address the real purpose. All right, so that was all. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any queries regarding the distribution or if you have any suggestion or feedback, do type that in in the comment box if you want to see more such videos in future kindly subscribe to my channel xps tech and i want to thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time